this video we'll be looking at non-invecting non-invecting ones are those when you just put in something let's just gain it or multiply it with some scale and then take out in the same phase that it was it doesn't uh, take it off phase or kind of shift it or negate it so if I put in 5 somewhere in then I'll get 10 or whatever is the gain is but I'm just going to get it with that whatever sign it was it doesn't change as non-invecting changes so let's try to figure out what is happening here mm, okay let me think here what is happening the current going in here let me make it green current going in here the same as current going here there is no current here because the, the resistance there is somewhere approaching infinity so there's no current going here so we call this visual ground and then it goes here and then comes the side so current okay let me just write that math current going in in should equals to the current going out so with that being said we can now what is current going in i think my current going in there will be zero minus vx mm, all over call this r1 r1 should equals to vx minus what is this one uh r i mean minus v out so all over call this one r2 R2. Then from here, because of virtual grounding here, so there is literally no potential difference moving from here to here. So Vx is very close to Vn. Okay, the reason here you say virtual grounding because, yeah, our resistance in between here is very huge. So now we can make that, I can change all those vx to be v in okay cool then i do some math okay after doing some math i think i'll just say uh, negative v in i don't know why here there's negative but we'll see let's shut trust the math v in all over r2 minus v out all over r2 let me write like this and i'll see what i'm doing and then from here, what can I do? I'm, I'm trying to solve for V out. So I'll take V out to this side. I'll have V out all over R2 should equal to, if I take that other side, it will be V in all over R1. V in will be on, uh, yeah, it's already taken to that side plus V in all over R2. Then from here, I can say V out is equals to r2 i multiply by r2 this side and then here i can take out a common factor of v in okay that's strange let me open another bracket that was stupid but no mathematical error so i'm fine so if i take out here i will have uh, one over R1 uh, multiply, I mean, plus 1 over R2 close, close. Then I, I don't know why they have this brackets. Let me just remove these and put a, a dot here for multiplication. Uh, then I can give all of them Vn. I can all, a uh, Vn, I mean, I can all give, give all of them. Uh, that's R2. If I give R2 here, I'll have R2 all over R1 plus 1 here, and here I'll have V out. It was a very long way of doing this, but I did the right thing. I didn't remember doing a mistake, and this is the correct answer. So, this is the formula you use if you have non invecting. Non invecting because now this was positive, this is also positive. So, the phase didn't change. So, still in phase with the inputted signal just multiply it with some gain and this this here is going to be our gain because it's multiply within to get out so cool
just to look out for the next video of which i think it should be about summing of pumps <laughs>